thanks so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be doing the new Main Choice products, the Do It For The Culture, excuse me, Do It Fro The Culture. That's really hard to say, actually. I think they thought it was going to be a play on words, but it's actually very difficult to say. Anyway, so I got the shampoo. It's called Powerful Shampoo for Untouchable Definition and Unmatched Volume. So the whole point of this line is to be powered by black charcoal and black cumin. So actually all of them, they look black. Like y'all ever had Ghirardelli brownies? That's what it smells like. It smells like something you wanna eat. Okay, so the Powerful Shampoo retails for $16.19 if you get it at Sally's with your Sally Beauty Club membership. If you are getting it for regular price, I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be $16.99. So second product that I did get was the deep conditioner mask. So it's the Magnificent Miracle Mask and it has bi biotin, vitamin A, C, D, and E. I'm holding it completely vertical and it's not even sliding. Like it's not moving or anything. And honestly, that really worries me because I use my deep conditioners to detangle. So if it's not moving in the jar, is it really gonna move through my hair the way that I want it to? This retails for $19.99. However, if you have your Sally Beauty Club membership, you will get it for, let me see how much did I pay for it? 18, $18.99. All right, next up is the leave-in conditioner. It's called the Accomplished Triple Layer Leave-In. It retails for 15, no, it retails for $16.99, but if you have a Sally Beauty Club membership, then you'll get it for $15.39. Okay, so it smells just like the shampoo. However, when I squeeze it out, if you can see that, it squeezes out really slowly. So it's kind of pasty. And then finally, I got the Bold Buttery Gel. So this is gonna be the gel that you use for your twist outs, your braid outs, or what you will put on top of your leave-in conditioner whenever you want to do a um, uh, wash and go. This one moves just like the 24 karat twisting gel from the ancient Egyptian line. The only difference is I don't see any of those shiny flecks. In the 24 karat twisting gel, you know how it has like the gold reflectors, re reflectors to give you that shine and glisten. This doesn't really have that. So this retails for $16.99. However, if you get it with your Sally Beauty Club membership, then you'll get it for $16.19. Yep. So I'm gonna jump into my wash day routine using these products and let you guys know how I like them. We're starting with the shampoo. I'm gonna use about a quarter size amount. I really want to know whether or not a little bit goes a long way with this product. I wanna know if it's something that I will have for a long time because I'm able to use it sparingly. As you can see, it lathered up really well on contact. The shampoo is supposed to provide a lot of definition just with this one product, so I wanted to give you guys an up-close view. This shampoo smells so freaking good, y'all. So good. Next, I'm going into the Magnificent Mask. To my surprise, it actually went on my hair a lot smoother than I anticipated. I really thought that it was gonna be pretty stiff, but it actually glided on. In here, I'm gonna focus it on my edges. I can lay my edges down. I started to try and detangle. Normally, I use a wide tooth comb to detangle my hair during the deep conditioning process, but as you can see, it's giving me a little bit of resistance. I'm normally able to detangle much easier than I am here, but um, I powered through it. I sectioned my hair into four different sections and used the twisting method before putting on my processing cap. Here's just an up close view of the definition. I put the cap on and I allow the deep conditioner to stay on for about 45 minutes. I've rinsed out the deep conditioner and now it's time to start the styling process. So I'm gonna spray my hair with some more water and put on the leave-in conditioner. Look at how this glides through my hair, y'all. 
it goes on so soft. It felt amazing. It made it really easy for my tangle teaser to create that definition. With another section in the back, I'm going to show you my styling process from start to finish. So here I am spraying the section with some water and applying the leave-in. After I apply the leave-in, I apply an oil. I didn't get the oil from this particular line, but I used the one that I had on hand from my Heavenly Halo collection. I knew that it was going to make my hair soft. Next I'm going to go in with the gel. I don't put a lot here because on the container it does say to apply it sparingly. And then on top of that, just to make sure that my hair does not dry out, I'm going to add a little bit more of the leave-in on top of that gel. I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to come back and tell you guys my final thoughts. This is the final results. Um, I usually put my hair in a pineapple after letting it air dry and diffusing it dry a little bit just so it stretches my hair out. So I am loving it actually. I think that the line does what it claims that it's going to do, which is going to give you definition and volume. Um, if I had to pick my favorite product out of everything that I tried today, it would definitely be the shampoo. Like with the ancient Egyptian line shampoo, you feel like it's making your hair stronger as you put it on. Like you can actually feel the the, the strength and the protein like restoring your hair. Um, and with the Heavenly Halo shampoo, you definitely feel as you put it in that it makes your hair softer and makes it feel more manageable. But with this, it just makes it feel like your hair is getting clean, which is what it says it's supposed to do. It says it's supposed to gently remove impurities from the hair and scalp, removes buildup to enhance vibrancy and volume and it definitely gave my hair volume most of the time when I do a wash and go first day hair or dry hair never looks this big this would be my favorite out of the line the magnificent mask um, I did not really like the fact that this hair mask did not allow me to detangle as easily as I would have liked it to. That's always the time where I use my wide tube comb and I really get out of the tangles and the single strand knots that are in my hair. Um, and I felt like this wasn't terrible for detangling, but it made me feel like I had to use more product, which we know is not that good because with a $20 jar that's only eight ounces, if you have to use more product than necessary, you're just gonna have to go back to the store and buy some more and spend more of your coin. The triple layer leave-in, I definitely really liked this. Um, I definitely feel like it provided moisture. Like I don't feel like my hair is super dry or anything like that. And normally when I do pair a leave-in with a gel, my hair still comes out dry. And that didn't happen this time. And I think that's because I did apply a little bit more of this than I normally would just to prevent that. Normally when I do a wash and go, I use curl enhancing creams. So something like um, the curl enhancing smoothie curl enhancing smoothie from Shea Moisture would be like my go-to thing because just gels, they just never really work for me. So to prevent that from happening this time, I kind of like doubled up on this leave-in. I don't really feel like this definition is going to last me an entire week. So if you're a person who likes their wash and go to last all week, I don't really think the leave-in and the bold gel is the duo for you. The Bold Buttery Gel, I don't really see any shine that it left my hair with, but at the same time, my hair doesn't look dull. It definitely looks moisturized, that's for sure. But at the same time, in certain spots, I did have a little bit of a white cast. I noticed that there were some pieces that looked kind of gray, and I guess that's either because I had too much gel built up in that one specific area, area or either it didn't dry as fast as the rest of the hair so you really have to be careful when you use the gel just so you don't get that gray white cast on your hair so I don't think I would repurchase the the leave-in and in the gel however all together I did get good results too. so thank you guys for watching stay tuned for my next video don't forget to subscribe and you guys have a blessed day